Hello, I am Spencer from Little Elm Public Library. I'm going to talk and show you how to do collection evidence-based collection management using Koha. Our Koha is hosted and supported by Biowater Solutions. Um, we're going to talk about turnover and superstars, but it all starts with reports. So if you go to the reports tab, uh, go to catalog in the statistics wizard, and we want to know about home library and shelving location. And so we're just going to export that to a file here, a CSV file, open in Excel. That's done. All right, so this gives us a list of all of our shelving locations um, and a total of all the items in that shelving location. So we have 5,251 uh, adult nonfiction items and a total of 47,578 items and I'm going to put borders around because it helps me see. Alright, so that's step one, that's easy. Let's minimize that. Now let's go to the circulation statistics wizard. And we're going to make sure we have checkout done. And we're going to pick a calendar year from April 1st, 2014 to April 1st, 2015. Uh, no real reason. Um, just gives us a good uh, recent time frame to look at. And we want, again, shelving location and library. And we're going to export that. And we're going to change the name of that file to circ. Here we go. We open this. And we get a listing of all of our shelving locations and all of the circulations in our assigned time period. Uh, for each shelving location. But we're not done because at Little Elm we count renewals as well as checkouts as circulations. So all we do is change renewal, change the file name, click submit, there we go. All right, so now this is renewals. And we take this and we copy it from here and we put it in the Circ. We don't care about that total because it's the exact same. There you go. And we can delete that because all the item locations are the same uh, coming from the statistics wizard. So we'll change the column names to checkouts and renewals. And there we go. Let's spread it out a little bit. And let's go... We, uh, we're actually... Uh, we're done with Koha at this point. It's going to be all in Excel for us now, or whatever spreadsheet uh, software you're using. So we take the total for the items by the shelving location and paste it in here. And here's where a little bit of work comes in. Um, the Not everything from the circulation statistics wizard the other way around. Not everything from the catalog statistics wizard shows up in the circulation statistics wizard. Uh, databases don't have any circs, so they don't show up. Um, Etc. Also, we have our picture books broken out uh, by different subjects. So all the picture books that have to deal with dinosaurs or e-dinos um, as a shelving location, those don't show up in the same place on the statistics wizard for circulation as they do for catalog. I don't know why. I'm sure we could fix it if we had the time, but it really, um, this seems like it's going to be a lot of work here. Uh, part of that's because of how we have things going, and part of that uh, is because it's not really that much work for the amount of, of data you get um, from it. So as we go down, you will see um, that certain things just still aren't lining up. But there are now fictions lined up. Um, we just got to go make sure everything is the same. So you'll see there's a problem. We have two uh, sp juvenile Spanish language sections. Um, we just need to go through and combine them. I need to speak with someone about that, apparently. 
Um, I don't care about adult magazines. It, it's not going to tell me anything um, for this purpose. It's just easier to remove them. New Fiction does not exist as a shelving location anymore. Um, so I can pull that out. And then you'll see nonfiction. And these are these are areas that have been changed. And there's still like one thing that's long lost overdue that uh, we haven't removed the, the section for. C staff are our interlibrary loans. Um, so those numbers should pretty close to match up. Uh, we add a new record for every interlibrary loan so we can check it out and keep track of all the statistics that way. Um, teen new doesn't exist anymore. It should be the teen area as well. So now just some more cleanup pay. Hey, there are those, uh, first of all, let's get rid of this empty. Um, Move that down, and then now we can clean up those picture books. All right, now, except for there's one more. E stories does not uh, does not fit where it's supposed to. It's in two different places. So let me fix that. Move these up, and what you will see is that we get, um, yes, I want to not erase data. There we go. All is good. Okay, so we are getting this taken care of. Okay, here's the cool part. We need to figure out the uh, total circs. Uh, so we're just going to, well, this isn't the cool part. I lied to you. Um, we're just going to sum up the renewals and checkouts to get a total circulation by a shelving location, which is pretty cool if you think about it. Um, it's library cool anyway. So now, oh, I did not sum up the total renewals. Um, that's easy to solve. I'll fix that right now. So you'll see we have 117,596 circulations in that calendar year for our 47,578 items um, in the system. So now we will go this is the cool part. What What is the percentage of total circulation each shelving location is responsible for? So we need to, oh, here I'm going to pause it. Um, pause it because I forgot how to do a static cell a calculation in Excel. So it's pick the cell, then dollar sign, D, dollar sign, it's 56. Um, if you don't know, that way you can just drag that down and it won't change what you're dividing by the entire time. It'll stay uh, static. So that gives us that. Now we can format um, into a percentage. I like decimal places. So we can see that, uh, for instance, so DVDs made up 13.72% of our overall circulation during this time period. Um, that's adult DVDs, not kid DVDs, or DVDs for adults. So here is the same calculation, uh, dollar sign G, dollar sign um, 56. This gives us our percentage, what percentage of the collection each shelving location is responsible for, um, what percentage of our holdings is probably a better way to term it. So we will see, for instance, nonfiction makes up 11 point, adult nonfiction makes up 11.04% of every physical item we have in our library. Um, so here's where we talk about superstars. Uh, superstar is pretty straightforward. Uh, well, let me change this uh, so it's a little uh, more clear. Uh, superstars are 
shelving locations that outperform their weight. They're more than pulling their weight. Um, so what we do here is we just do a basic calculation. It's not super scientific, um, but we want to figure out um, which ones are are just outperforming uh, for their size. And I, we, I got this backwards. We want to do the percentage of circulation uh, subtracting the percentage that it is of the collection. So it will be, for instance, uh, adult nonfiction. There you go. That means uh, bad things for adult nonfiction. Um, trying to format it. No, I'll have to do it with uh, with conditional formatting. Uh, I think. Yes, conditional formatting. Sorry. So I like colors. It makes it stand out. It's easy to see um, what the problems are. So here you go. On this scale, red is bad. Green is good. So um, superstars. Look at that. Juvenile DVDs uh, outperforming um, anything that's above a one um, is something that's noteworthy. Um, so that helps in, in decision making for collection management because you know <clears throat> that there's room for growth in these areas, that they're uh, they do, they've earned more shelf space. Uh, there's some more kids DVDs, kids fiction um, in the in the picture book section. You know dip, that it, it gets as granular as your data is, and then you'll see some uh, some poor performers, but. Let's talk about turnover now. Turnover is literally the number of times each item has, on average, in that shelving location checked out in the time period we're talking about. So it's just a, a basic ratio. Um, so you just take the total circulations and divide it by the total items in the collection, or in the shelving location. And we, we see, uh, oh, sorry, that's a, a problem there. Let me fix this, um, delete that, and then I'll have to, to redo it. It's uh, throwing a zero in there. It's going to throw off that conditional formatting um, just by a little bit. Really having that negative five in there is, uh, <laughs> is throwing it off. But uh, all right. Yeah, adult nonfiction is uh, not pulling its weight and non-genre adult fiction is not pulling its weight and uh, this is a first step it gets us into uh, the ability to why is that not pulling its weight so now with turnover I'm gonna do a different colored uh, conditional formatting here so with turnover blue is going to be uh, good and red is still bad so um, if we look at that on our blue rays are checking out uh, adult Blu-rays, um, let's see, oh, here's the overall. Our total uh, collection averaged 2.47 checkouts per item in that calendar year. Um, that's that's not great. But some of these sections are really high turnovers. Rhyming and songs are really good. Uh, things that go, which are picture books about trucks and rockets and uh, juvenile Blu-rays. In that calendar year, checked out an average of eight times for each item. Um, 